Hey guys, uh, this is a quick video tutorial of how to make a BNC to Scott female adapter for your PVM, BVM and the like. Now, uh, let's go through a list of uh, some tools that you might need. A pair of snips, some flux and a soldering iron. Flux, always buy a $1 pen of flux for any soldering job it makes your life a lot easier and it's just yeah, you need it um, some uh, heat shrink to uh, protect um, some of the wire but also to color code your wires as you can see here that's how I managed to get the red green blue uh, cables um, <coughs> You might want to desolder the yellow RCA, so desoldering pump, otherwise you can just cut the board. Um, either way, it's fine. A flat tool like this to uh, pry open the adapter. Those are the tools you will need. Now, the parts that you bought from eBay, you, need, you can buy from eBay. Those are the best parts that I found. I, I looked at several alternatives, these were the the, the best and the best price so it's like five dollars for two of those uh, for e uh, those two things uh, it's about two three dollars for five of these wires you need four of them they're good because they the right length and they are also pre-tinned here so that's very easy uh, and this is the part where you can use a bit of heat shrink here on the ground the uh, second part is this adapter that comes with audio breakout already and we remove the uh, yellow RCA and this is where we pass our uh, four cables um, so this is where you start okay so I'll show you the work that is done I won't solder a new one but I'll show you the work that is done what needs to be done so you open like I said you pro open this one here um, this is quite delicate take your time don't force it because on the first one he actually broke two tabs um, open it then you get all your four wires through the video hole uh, on the board here this is where I'll try to show you to the camera yeah so I actually cut a whole section here where the RCA jack was the phone um, and then it's on to soldering so I'll quickly run you through the pinout so the sink is on the composite lead and this is the one sorry focus yep here we go um, you can use the ground of where the composite jack was same thing here you have your own respective ground right next to the ground so it's one two three then the fourth pin here is the red then you use the ground of the red cable um, then the green then the ground of the green cable um, then the blue and the ground of the blue cable the audio is already wired um, that board is not very well designed because they actually had to put two different two small wires um, that were too long so I shortened them you can leave them as is I just thought it was cleaner and that's about it that's all you need to do I found that because it's quite well shoved in the box uh, there's not too much too much pressure on the um, on the solder joints themselves especially if you use you know you I actually cleaned the solder joint and, and used fresh fresh solder um, I pre, uh, the wires were already pre tinned but then I used some flux as well and that really helps but you could put a um, word uh, escapes me a um, cable tie oh my god <laughs> a cable tie here just before the uh, the hole um, to secure the cables further uh, I didn't think it was necessary at this stage um, and you just reassemble everything um, as simple as that I'll do that quickly here you can start with the top the, the four wires actually a, a already a tight fit on in through the RCA jack so that really helps with securing everything 
Here we go. Sorry for being out of the camera. Get those wires true and snap it together. Mm. There we go. So fully finished here. Like I said, these two tabs here. I broke them when I opened it. But basically that's it. Let me know if you have any questions.